Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen uh, with another algorithmic adventure. Uh, so, uh, shortest path visiting all nodes, uh, daily lead code challenge. And uh, today we have a fantastic problem. So this one to unravel and we are delving deep into the world of graph and shortest path. And the problem is about finding the shortest path that visit every node uh, in uh, an undirected connected graph. So trust me, this one is really interesting. So uh, let's set the stage. So we are given an uh, undirected graph where each node is connected to one or more other nodes. And we want to find the shortest path that traverses through each and every node at least once. And we can start and stop at any node and uh, even loop back if needed. So for instance, uh, considering uh, this graph, so uh, one, two, three, zero, zero, zero. Uh, so yeah, uh, this one. So we can traverse uh, from uh, one like this. So one, uh, zero, uh, two, zero, and three. So uh, total uh, traverse is uh, four. And in example seconds, we can see that we can traverse from uh, zero to one, four, two, and three. So uh, output here is also uh, four. So uh, what's uh, the plan? So we are going to employ breath for search or yeah, BFS for so short to solve this one. But we will uh, spice things up a bit by using bitmask to represent our visited node. So uh, it will be more efficient though. And the first thing we do is find out how many nodes we got. And this will set the stage for uh, everything that falls. So node uh, n. And uh, also we will have a queue. So we initialize a queue uh, where we store the uh, states we're uh, yeah, interested uh, in exploring. And I will be using Python DQ for uh, its fast O1 uh, append and pop operation. And also we will have visited uh, set. So uh, visited uh, and this set will keep track of states we have already been through. And this help us prevent cycle and redundant steps. So uh, what is uh, main uh, yeah, part of our algorithm? So it's BFS and uh, in BFS, we will pull out the front state from our uh, queue, which contain a bit mask of visited node and the current node and the distance covers. So let me uh, yeah, implement it. And so len graph, uh, Q will be dq one for i in range n and visited uh, as set for i in range to n and while while uh, q uh, mask node distance q pop left and if mask equal one and one return list and four neighbors in graph node uh, new mask will be mask uh, neighbors and if new mask neighbors neighbors not in visited then visited at uh, new mask uh, neighbors. So as uh, mentioned before, so we have uh, nodes, so n, q, uh, and visited set. And uh, in our main loop, we what we do, so we pull out the front state from our queue, which contain bit mask of visited nodes and the current node as well. And uh, the distance uh, covered, so uh, three parameters and uh, our goal 
uh, stage check is to verify if the bit mask uh, signifies that all nodes have been visited. So if uh, so, we have uh, yeah the answer. So uh, then we uh, return. And then we have a neighbor exploration. So uh, we can say it's uh, step number three, main step. And uh, so if not, uh, so if not to return it, uh, it's time to explore our neighbors. And for each neighbor, we generate a new state by updating the bitmask uh, node and also distance. And then we have a state uh, and queue. So before adding new states uh, to our queue, we check if we have visited it before. Uh, if not, uh, into the queue, it goes. Okay, and then queue append new mask, neighbors, and dist, this plus one. And yeah, uh, so, uh, all right. So we uh, implemented it in uh, Python, but uh, if you prefer other languages like uh, Go, Rust, C++, I will provide link with implementation in the description uh, below. So uh, let's run it to verify it's working. So yeah, all good. We return uh, distance. So as you can see, uh, both first example and second example uh, output four. So with yeah, graph representation is a bit easier to uh, spot it uh, right away. So uh, before we wrap up, let's uh, talk about uh, complexity. So the time complexity here is uh, O uh, two to the power of n times n due to the number of possible subset of uh, nodes. And the space complexity uh, mirrors uh, this at uh, as well O uh, two to the power of n uh, times n as well, uh, primary because of visited set and uh, the queue. So uh, let's submit it for unsynthesized cases to verify it's working as well. Uh, so hopefully it will work. So yes, uh, it's working. And as you can see, we beat 63% with uh, runtime and also 64% with respect to uh, memory. So all good. Uh, we can even uh, rerun it to uh, double check uh, our results. So as you can see, it's uh, varied a bit, uh, but yeah, now uh, even uh, beating 84% with respect to runtime, but uh, differences are not big. So uh, 154 versus 167 milliseconds. So uh, there we have it, uh, successfully uh, tackled a fantastic graph problem using PFS with a sprinkle of uh, bit manipulation. So this was a a uh, really interesting uh, journey through the uh, intricate of a uh, graph algorithm. So it's a uh, hard problem. So uh, implementation is not as uh, hard as uh, yeah the logic uh, behind it and the idea. So uh, the more you practice, the more uh, will you uh, be common with those uh, algorithms. So don't just code for the end result, uh, release your journey. Uh, for the learning and also problem solving and keep practicing because every problem solved is a step closer to uh, becoming a coding maestro. And until next time, happy coding.